Welcome back to Learn JavaScript on Code Academy. We're in the Classes section. This is Instance. Now we're ready to create class instances. An instance is an object that contains the property names and methods of a class, but with unique property values. Let's look at our dog class example. Here we have class dog, which will run this constructor when we create a new instance. The constructor takes a name. And we'll create the name property with name assigned to it and the behavior property with zero assigned to it. When we say const Haley is assigned a new dog and pass in Haley, this will create a new dog instance. When we log Haley.name, it would log the name value saved to Haley, which would be Haley. Below our dog class, we use the new keyword to create an instance of our dog class. Let's consider the line of code step by step. We create a new variable named Haley that will store an instance of our dog class. We use the new keyword to generate a new instance of the dog class. The new keyword calls the constructor, runs the code inside of it, and then returns the new instance. We pass the Haley string to the dog constructor, which sets the name property to Haley. Finally, we log the value saved to the name key in our Haley object, which logs Haley to the console. Now you know how to create instances. In the next exercise, you will learn how to add getters, setters, and methods. Our instructions say, create an instance of the surgeon class, set the name to Francisco Romero and department to cardiovascular. Save the instance to a constant variable name, surgeon Romero. Let's do that now. Run it. Does pass. Number two says, Create an instance of the surgeon class. Set the name to Ruth Jackson and department to orthopedics. Save the instance to a constant variable called surgeon Jackson. We could just grab this one and do this here. Run it and we do pass. So what we're learning here is how to create instances once we create our class. So you create your class and then you're able to create instances of that class, which are going to allow us to pass in values that will be given to the properties within our class and like it says here an instance is an object that contains the property names and methods of a class but with unique property values that's the main thing that you should be taking away from this lesson as long as you're getting that you guys are getting it and i'll see you in the next one